So, Willie D of uh, Ghetto Boys did an interview with Violent J from the Insane Clown Posse. And Violent J has some interesting words to say about Kid Rock, saying that while he sat there with his black baby mama and his black child, he told Violent J not to trust no black folk in this business. And keep in mind, Kid Rock started off rapping before he went to the country music confederate flag thing that he got going on. Let's get to the clip. Speaking of the rebel flag and rednecks, or at least uh, redneck fans, um, Kid Rock. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with him? No. At all. Okay, so Kid Rock, did you, you did you actually know him personally at the yeah. time when he was coming up, when he was rapping? Yeah, we did a song together. Yeah, and this is at a time when Kid Rock was respectful of the black community. Oh, you want some Kid Rock news? Yeah, I do. All right. Come on, we want to know. I, I want to know what type of guy he was. <laughs> I want to know what type of guy he was in the early stages. I'll tell you. Before he became this rebel flag waving, you know, f everybody but the pure white nation. Jay, guy. this is Kid Rock. Um, First of all, straight up the energy, he's one of those dudes we would never hang with. Me and Shaggy, you know what I mean? He's just one of those dudes that irks you. You know, our energies are different. You know what I'm saying? But um, we would go over there because he came out before us. He he was signed to Jive. Okay. You know what I mean? Do you know about that? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was Def Jam, but it was no, Jive. he was signed to okay. Jive. Okay. And uh, he had two short produced in his record. He was on tour with Ice Cube and them, too short, do, doing some tour. That was a big deal to us, you know what I mean? So when we came up, we got we paid to get Esham on a song, you know what I mean? And uh, Kid Rock was, in, and our, man, our producer, Mikey Clark, who's just a super hot producer from Detroit, you know, at the time was also working with Kid Rock. And uh, so we told Mike, Asked Kid Rock how much to get on our track. And Kid Rock was like, what do you want? And we were like, 500. And Kid Rock was like, all right, I'll do it for six. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we did the song, you know what I mean? He ended up getting too drunk in the session, you know what I mean? And to finish it. And uh, we were like, that's bullshit because um, we don't drink in the sessions. We take serious you know what i mean anyway to his respect he came back the next day and finished it you know what i'm saying anyway so um after that the only times we see him is when we're meeting to discuss maybe doing a show a big show together or something you know what i mean and um i'm a, i'm out there sitting in his apartment right and um he has a black girlfriend, right? And they, wow. they have a baby. And me and Joey are sitting there, and he's telling us, because he's the veteran, you know what I'm saying? We're just coming out. He's doing all this shit with Jive, you know what I mean? And this is after, just, just after all that, you know? And he's like, don't trust anybody black in this business. Wow. I'm going to tell you this right now. And this woman... With the baby, it's just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing. And that I'll never forget. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and Joy are just like, you know what I mean? And uh, he's saying all that. And we're just like, uh-huh. And um, we, uh, I never heard him say anything direct racist other than that, you know. Um, in front of us, but we didn't really hang with him. We would just see him when we would try to do something, a show or something. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, he was never, never, uh, one of our, one of our guys. You know what I mean? Well, y'all are metamucil. Some of you white folks, it is amazing how you will steal and copy our whole way of being, our whole blackness and call it your own, profit on it, and then discard us in the same breath. I, 
like y'all culture vultures of our culture. I wouldn't even call it our culture at this point because of how ratchet and debaucherous it has turned. But you understand what I'm saying. Like well, white folks will copy your whole stilo and then talk like this in the same breath. Don't trust us. After you've you started off rapping, profiting, being like black, don't trust. Listen, point number two. Like you say, don't trust any black folk in this business. Listen, we aren't the ones that run this business. There's an unspoken community, though, of people that we do know who run it. I'm not going to say who they are, but we know we all know. Because it seems like every time you talk about them, everybody got to be reprimanded for saying what it is. We're not the ones that's giving out these terrible deals after artists sell millions and millions, millions of records. And then 10 years later, you look up, you sold all these millions of records and they still in your pocket. You still ain't recouped. That's not folk of our hue that's doing that to us. So I don't know where you would blow this out of thin air that black folk out of everybody shouldn't be the ones to be trusted, especially when you used black folk as your um, springboard to jumpstart your career. You used our style and our art form to jump your career. Then, then to these, to the black women that want to date white men and black men that want to date white women, but not just be it that, but the ones that have a, a really deep hatred and disdain for their own folk. I want you to remember something. You run into them, but they still think of you as a Negro. You, you, you will never be accepted like you think you are. And they will often talk about you right in front of your face. Just like Kid Rock talked in front of his baby mama. You think you special, but you hop and skipped over there. Yeah. To what? To have, to be a baby mama? And to have him talk about you right in front of you, talk about your people right in front of your face with no pushback from you? Where's your backbone? You know that we don't run that industry, but somehow we get the full blame of, oh, don't trust no black folk in it. They will always look at you a certain way. So just because you have a preference of wanting to date outside your race, cool, but don't don't develop this hatred for your own running to them. But this is your boy P. Kent. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.